In this video, I'm going to show the difference between relative cell references and absolute cell references when building a formula or using a function. So this spreadsheet is called cellreferences.ods and it's in the um, supporting material for this week. So you can download this and um, follow along if you want um, as I go through on the video. So what we want to do here is add the three columns of numbers and then multiply the sum by a constant, which in this case is 2. So to add the numbers, we can use the sum function. Functions start with equal. So if I go equal, sum, open a parenthesis, select the cells that I want to add, close the parenthesis and hit enter. You can see it totals it up for 150 and in the formula bar is the formula I wrote sum parenthesis b6 colon b10 close parenthesis. To copy the formula to the next two cells all I have to do is go edit copy and then I can paste it and paste it. <clears throat> and you can see each time I pasted it, the spreadsheet automatically shifted the cell coordinates over one from the original destination. So we moved from B6 to B10 I copied it over one, C6 to C10, and then for the last one, it moved it over twice because we're two positions relative from the original source, D6 to D10. So when you copy a formula or a function, it's going to adjust the cell coordinates in the function based on how many columns or rows you move away from the original the original cell source for the function. <clears throat> now in this case we want to multiply 2, we want to multiply the sum by the constant 2 for each of the columns. If I do a straight formula b11 times times the constant, and I can just click on that cell, And I'll show you that again if I go equal B11 times, click on the cell where the constant is, see it automatically selects B3. <clears throat> so 2 times 150 is 300. Now if I copy this, oops, now if I copy this over, you can see we it shows 0 instead of showing 800. Well, the reason it's showing 0 is it copied from B11 to C11, which is what we want, but it copied from B3 to C3, and we don't want the constant cell to copy over. We want to always have it refer to B3. So in that case, we can rewrite the formula B11 times a dollar sign B, a dollar sign 3, and we still get 300. But notice I use the dollar sign to anchor this cell reference to that cell. So now when I copy the cell over, you can see the cell reference for the sum moved from B11 to C11, but the dollar signs are anchors holding that cell coordinate to the constant 2. So we have um, 4 times 2 is 800, 650 times 2 is 1300. And what's nice about using a constant to update this row, let's say we want to change it to 4, all I need to do is enter 4 and the totals are automatically updated. Um, use the cell reference use this cell reference spreadsheet that's in the supporting material folder to sort of experiment and um, see how the 
dollar sign can serve as an anchor when you're copying over formulas.